What would an Amazon FBA seller do in a 14 day quarantine? How can you go from nothing to having a full business? That is exactly what I'm gonna tell you in this video. I want you to try and make the most out of being stuck at home at this present time. And we're gonna dive right in. But before we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that you know when I bring out new videos. I'm making Amazon videos, print on demand videos, all different types of videos every single day. So hit that bell notification and let's just get right into it. So I'm gonna use my trusty pen and tablet and I'm just gonna time lapse the drawing of it and then I'm gonna start explaining what it all means. This is going to be our timeline. As you can see here, we've got day one all the way to day 14 and we've got research mode over here and we've got ready to launch over here. So that's our aim, right? Our aim for the 14 days is to build something that we are ready to launch. And now we're gonna draw a line, okay? I'm gonna draw this line and you might think, what does this line even mean? But I'm gonna go through each individual day for you so you know what you need to be doing on every single day. Right, now obviously you're probably thinking he has just made that line up. Now, I have just made this line up. However, I'm going to explain to you now what you should be doing on each day, what I would be doing on each day to create an FBA business. And then this line will actually make a lot of sense. So we're gonna move this out of the way. And I'm going to start using the text tool. And on day one, okay, let's go here. What are we gonna be doing on day one? Well, there's a few things to do on day one and I've got my notes up over here because I don't wanna miss anything out. But on day one, you want to update the product spreadsheet and I'm gonna show you what the product spreadsheet actually looks like. This is what the product spreadsheet actually looks like. You've got the name, the average price, the average reviews, the average BSR, the potential keywords that you can find. We use the tools on Guru for this. I'll explain a bit about that later. And whether or not it's a need or want product, if it's small and light, the monthly sales, and eventually you'll put the supplier prices in there. But you don't have to worry about the supplier prices just yet. So if you want, create a Google Sheet similar to this or create it on whatever program you want, like this to keep an updated file system of all the products you're researching, because the worst thing is to research a bunch of products and not keep track of all their individual qualities and whether or not they're gonna be good. Okay, so research is going to take place from day one to day five. Right, that's five full days of researching. Now, I don't mean doing it for seven or eight hours in a single day because you probably have other jobs, you're probably working from home doing other things. So just try and dedicate maybe two hours a day or one to two hours a day doing this research from day one to five. Right, what you want to do is you want to, you want to do a whole bunch of different things. You want to find a product with a good enough demand. You want to find a product with not, enough, with not much competition. If this is a bit vague for people, let me know in the comments. I can make a more in-depth video on individual days, but this is more of an overall video of the entire 14 days. I don't want to go into it in too much detail because I just want to get to the point of each day. Okay, you want to find out the pricing, if it's going to be profitable, and you want to, well, I've written here, you want to do some keyword research. So keyword research basically just means finding particular keywords for one given product. So if your product is an Apple iPhone case, you want to come up with a whole list of keywords for that product, okay? So let's just quickly recap that. You want to update the spreadsheet, which is this thing, okay? You want to fill in everything here. So the average pricing, just not gonna go through it again, but you wanna fill in everything in here. And then you wanna do a bit of keyword research on top of that, okay? That's day one to day five. So I'm gonna write keyword research in here, okay? Now let's do from day six. What have, I, what, what have I written for day six? So day six to day eight is messaging suppliers, okay? And you can see it's, it's going up slightly because the more suppliers you message, the further you are in the ready to launch phase of this business. Okay, so you want to pick, you want to start by picking three products from your list. So you can see here, I've got however many products, you want to pick three best products, okay? And then you want to try and message 20 suppliers for each product. Okay, so that's messaging 60 suppliers. What I recommend you do is use some sort of email template for each product that you can just copy and paste. So for example, we have a template where we say our name, we say we're looking, we're interested in, and then blank for that kind of product. So if it's a 
if it's let's have a look on my list if it's a shower curtain you're like we're interested in shower curtains we're wondering if you could do this and then have a different template for every niche you're in okay but if you're messaging 20 suppliers about the same shower curtain right just keep the same message and it allows you to email suppliers on a much in a much faster way we call it the shotgun approach okay <clears throat> so on alibaba let me just quickly show you what you should look out for and um i know you're probably thinking well can i actually message suppliers at this point is it like is anyone working well yes and i'll show you how i know that okay so let's just put in shower curtain for argument's sake okay and what you can do is firstly you want to click trade assurance and you want to click verified supplier okay so once you've clicked both of those things let's just let that load what's remaining the suppliers remaining are the ones that you typically would want to get in contact with right now the reason i know this is possible and suppliers are actually working is you see this little blue man over here let me just zoom in for you this this little guy right this is the chat now feature so if I click chat with me, well, it's going to ask me to log in. But my point being is, if they weren't working, there wouldn't be that chat now feature. Right, so you can see it's popped up over here and I can just start speaking to them. Now, for this shotgun message approach where you actually email all of them, I would recommend clicking the contact supply because it's a bit more professional than, than chatting. Chatting is more for when you're when you've already built that relationship with them and you're, you've got a dialogue and you're just talking, whereas the first first message you send them it should just be a normal email right so you can click contact supplier it will pop up over here you would copy and paste the message whatever that is and click send inquiry it's, it's really that simple right and if you want only do it for suppliers that show that they're this is blue so that you know they're online not everyone is going to have it blue at this point so you can see these people are grayed out so you can see they're not online let me exit this so i can show you if i zoom in you can see these people aren't online but these people are online okay now because it's 9 35 a.m when i'm shooting this video you're going to get a lot more people online because of the time differences okay so bear in mind talking to china in the morning or talking to china late at night is when you're going to get the largest group of people online right that is day six to day eight let's go back okay so let me type in message supplies right now we want to day nine what's happening day nine Day nine is the fun bit. Day nine is actually building your brand, okay? And at the end of this video, I'll quickly recap everything so that you, you, you understand. But day nine is building a brand. So the idea of selling on Amazon, we wanna sell with private label. Now, private label means you find a generic product and you stick your own brand on it. So there's a few different ways to sell on Amazon. You've got arbitrage, wholesale, used products, and then private label, okay? And private label, like I said, is basically you find anything, anything generic, like an iPhone case, you come up with a name, right? You come up with a logo, you tell that name and logo to your supplier, you give them all the, the images that they may need, they put that logo on the product, and that product is now a private label product with your own brand on it. Okay, so day nine, I'm not giving you too many days for this because this is probably a three or four hour task and you can do it in one day, and that is come up with a name, a logo, and some sort of message or idea for your brand, okay? so depending on what your product is, one of the three products, come up with a name for it. When I say a message for your brand, what I mean is come up with the idea of why you wanna sell that product so that when people look to buy it, they're not just buying a faceless brand, but they're buying into someone's idea. Does that make sense? Right, let's move on. Day 10, well, let me just write here, build a brand and let's go to day 10. Day 10 is a fun day. Day 10 is ordering a sample. <clears throat> now, if you're worried that postal services aren't going to be working now, you shouldn't be because they are. Well, they are where I am, and I don't know of anywhere where they have just stopped postal servicing, or posting, I should say. So you can still get a sample from China to the UK, and you can actually get that on express delivery. So you should be able to get that within two to three days. Whenever we order a sample, we order a whole batch of samples from the supplier's catalog, and then we bundle it with many suppliers, but I'm not going to confuse you with all of that. But basically what you wanna do is you wanna get a sample from a supplier, but maybe get a few different samples so that you only have to pay one shipping cost, because you will have to pay probably like $50 or $60. And then they'll express ship it to you, so you should get it in the next two days. 
okay? So that is what you're gonna do on day 10. It's a very easy day, it will take you maybe half an hour, and that is day 10. Take a break for the rest of the day. Okay, so order a sample. Day 11, what's happening on day 11? Day 11 to day 13, you're going to do an in-depth keyword research session. You're going to create your title, your bullets, your description, basically listing creation. So listing creation. Okay, and you can see how this is slowly going up into an arc that makes a lot of sense in order in, in just the timeline of starting an Amazon business. So <clears throat> this is what you want to do. So you want to do an in-depth keyword research and this is where I use Zonguru and I'll quickly show you Zonguru so you know what I'm talking about. But this is what this is where I would use Zonguru for keywords in particular. Because you've got the here we go. So you can see what it does here. I've put in the product, right? So these are all the different products I've researched. It takes like maybe 20 minutes for it to load because it's loading a lot of keywords. And basically it will give you a whole list of keywords, but as well as the whole list of keywords, it tells you the search volume, the amount of money they're worth, the, the top 25 people using those keywords, the number of units being sold. It's just, it's incredible. It's so, I mean, this, this for me is where I use this app the most or this tool the most, just because it is so ridiculously detailed in what I need for keyword research. And when it comes to Amazon, the most important thing is keyword research. That is what's gonna set you apart from anyone else, okay? So that's when I'll use Zonguru, which is just a brilliant app. And again, if you want it, it will be in the description. It is an affiliate offer because that's how I get money from these videos. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's I think $1 for the first month and then normal from then on. So <clears throat> you want to, like I said, create your title, create your bullets and create a description, and then you want to get your UPC code, okay? For some reason I've written here UPS, UPS is not the right thing. You want to get a UPC code, okay? And a UPC code is basically just a product identifier for Amazon. You need two types of codes, a UPC code and an FNSKU code. I don't want to confuse you with both of them, but just know this one important thing, a UPC code is used on the back end of Amazon, right? And that's it. It's not used on any products or anything like that. You just put it in when you're creating a product listing. And the FNSKU is the little code that goes on each individual's product packaging, okay? So that's the important code. Well, they're both important, but those are the different major differences between those two codes. All right, that's day 11 to day 13. So let's write this down. For day 11 to day 13, We've written, oh, I've already written it. So listing creation. Okay, now day 14. This is the big day. Okay, this day is going to, well, this day is basically going to get you ready for launch, okay? Day 14 is when the samples should hopefully come. Right now, this is only if they've done express shipping and it's been two days shipping or maybe three days shipping. You might go into day 15. <laughs> I can't promise you're gonna get all of this done in 14 days, but this is the idea, this is the aim. It can make it a challenge for yourself. The samples should come and you should decide based on the samples if you want it or if you don't want it. Okay, so check the samples, check the quality, see which one you like the best. And then this is where it gets fun. You're going to make your first order. Okay, so day 14 is when you actually make your first order. And that is when you're pretty much ready to launch because you've made your first order. Yes, you're going to have to wait maybe two or three weeks now for that order to be created and shipped to you. But in essence, you've created the entire business. You've gone from keyword research to messaging suppliers, to building a brand, to creating the product listing, to ordering samples, to actually ordering the product. It's amazing. But there's one thing you've missed out so far, and that is creating photos for your listing because you've created the whole listing, but you don't have photos. That's when the samples come in, okay? That's where the samples are brilliant because you can use the sample that you decide to go for as your product photos, okay? And then you can have a fully created listing by the time your product comes in from China in let's say two or three weeks time, providing you do air shipping. Okay, so in my mind, that is pretty much all you need to really do. Now, what you'll do is when you order from your supplier, you'll give them the logo that you've created, you'll give them the brand name, anything you need to do, they will give that to them. And at a later date, you'll give them any codes or anything they need for product identifying or any shipping labels that they need. And I'm not gonna discuss that in this video because it's just not important. That's two weeks down the line. That would be a, a, a one month quarantine video. We're not doing that. So let me just quickly recap this entire video. And yeah, you're gonna have a very successful quarantine. So day one to five, 
is research. Day six to eight is messaging suppliers. Day nine is building a brand. Day 10 is ordering a sample. Day 11 to day 13 is listing creation. And day 14, let me just write it down, is order your first product and product photography for your sample. Okay, if you don't want to do the product photography yourself, you can get someone on Fiverr to do it, or you can hire someone to do it. For example, I do product photography. So you can always do that. But in my mind, that is a successful quarantine. I hope that all made sense. I hope you liked that video. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to create any other kind of videos like this. I'm thinking of doing a 14 day quarantine for a print on demand business owner, what they would do in 14 days. So let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see something like that. And yeah, hopefully you all stay safe and enjoy this lockdown. Thanks so much for watching.